Well, hey there, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Soulful Sunday. This week, things are a little different. (laughs) I am in a different space than I usually film in because we're kind of under construction right now. My wife came to me uh, a couple weeks ago and said, you know what? That space upstairs that you used to have as your office that we turned into our daughter's room when she moved back home for a brief time. And then we just left as a uh, spare room. She said, why don't we turn that back into your office and you can then have a dedicated filming space. So grateful to her for, you know, coming to me and saying, why don't we do that? That's fantastic. So for me, that means that I get to kind of create a new space somewhat so this is temporary where you see me right now it's going to be switched and hopefully next week for soulful sunday i'll be at the other side of the room and uh the backdrop and everything around me will be a little different then i know it's this is as i say this is temporary but um i'm grateful extremely extremely grateful to have this this space again and with that will come um more creativity, more opportunity to film more videos and get more content out for you all. So this week, what are we going to talk about? Well, I had the thought earlier in the week to talk about negative energy and how to rid your space of negative energy. However, this morning when I was doing my meditation, I had the thought of sitting and talking to you all about expectations and going a little easier on yourself. That is something that even after 41 years with this disease, I still struggle with, is not getting upset with myself when I set goals and wake up the day of, you know, something that I plan to do, for example, filming. Wake up on the day that I have set aside for filming, feeling so exhausted, tired, just having no energy and really just wanting to have a shower and veg on the couch and watch hours and hours of YouTube or Netflix, I will always sit there and say to myself, you're just being lazy. What's going on with you? And I know I alluded to that or I talked about that a while ago in another video where I talked about fatigue and I had made the the realization or I come to the realization that Fatigue isn't always being absolutely exhausted, not being able to keep your eyes open, not being able to get out of bed, not being able to move. Yes, it can be that. But for me, most often, it's just not having a whole lot of ambition, not having a whole lot of chutzpah, if you will. So I have to learn to give myself a little bit of leeway to say, listen, what you did today, that's good. That is good what you did today. You took care of your body and that is the most important thing. You took care of your mental health also extremely, extremely important. When we have a chronic illness, when we have chronic pain, it isn't just physical. It's also extremely, extremely mental because of the negative self-talk that we do. So when I did my meditation this morning and this came over me that this is what I needed to talk about today, I trust that there is someone out there right now who needs to hear this, who needs to hear that whatever you do today is good enough. Yay, warrior. You've done wonderful. Because we are often our worst critic. We are often the most hard on ourselves. We push, 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 push because we think we have to. But in reality, what we are doing is we are placing ourselves further behind that eight ball by pushing, 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 and not listening to those symptoms and signs that our body is giving us. We can in turn make the flare last longer. We can in turn make the fatigue last longer. So what I suggest to you is when you feel your battery starting to get low, you listen, you listen to what your body's saying. You listen to what your mind is telling you and you pay attention. You take time to start, you know, telling people, listen, um, I feel like I just need to take some time for me today and I'm going to do a little self-care. It's very difficult, I know, to admit sometimes that at this moment we are unable to do everything that we planned on doing today. But 
in the end, you're going to save yourself from crashing, burning, and then really not having a choice because you have, your body just doesn't give you a choice. It says, listen, we are done. Our battery is empty. It's flashing on red. Rather than listening to your body when you start to get that yellow, you know, that amber warning, whatever you want to call it, um, listen to it then before it becomes a full-fledged, absolutely empty battery. So if I'm talking to you (laughs) and you need to hear this today, I am telling you from someone who has had chronic pain her entire life, some of the things that I've learned along the way, I think one of the most important things is that we need to listen to our bodies even more. So when we have chronic pain, when we have uh, an autoimmune disease, there are things in our environment that we can change, that we can do to make it a little easier. And I'm going to talk more about that as well. So this week, where does the soulful come in to this message? Where's that spiritual connection? Well, it's here. Feed your soul on the days that you can't do those things that you wanted to do. It's even more important to feed your soul on those days. So if on those days you do an extra meditation, you sit outside in the sun, you get some vitamin D because, wow, vitamin D does great, great things for our mental health as well. Um, I try to at least get half an hour every day of, of sunshine, get that good vitamin D. I also take a vitamin D supplement, of course, because I live in Canada and actually right now we're headed into the dark. <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, we're starting to see less and less daylight happen every day. So I also take vitamin D, but when I can I get outside and I sit in the sun or I just, you know, sit by the window where the sun is coming in and just let that beam hit me. I've had some of my, some of my greatest naps in a sunbeam. I mean, my goodness, cats know what they're doing. (laughs) Take that time, as I say, to feed your soul on those days, to tell yourself, I'm doing good enough. I am. I'm good enough. Other than meditating, sitting in the sun, one of the greatest things we can also do is to, if you can, sink your feet into the grass, into the ground, let your bare feet touch the bare ground also extremely important and will feed your soul. Find some really good content that will feed your soul as well. Read a book that feeds your soul, that makes you feel good, that lifts your spirits because that is so important. One of the things, now I'm going to be totally blunt and honest here. If I am not feeling good, I have a few go-to shows that I watch. (laughs) My grandma absolutely loved I love Lucy. So I have some DVDs that were hers and, um, I'll pop those DVDs in and I'll watch I love Lucy when I'm not feeling good. The other thing that I find myself doing, say what you will, think what you will. I find myself gravitating towards cartoons or shows from an easier time. Shows that weren't heavy, that are light, that are easy to watch don't require a whole lot of interaction. You can just kind of sit there and absorb it, laugh, have some fun. That's what I do. I just, I take it easy on myself on those days when I'm not feeling good because it's really important, as I said, just to say, it's okay. It's okay. I can do this today. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to take this time for me. So there you go. There's a few of my tips for things that I do. Um, Comment below if you have a go-to routine that you have, things that you often do when you're headed into a flare or when your fatigue is at a high, comment below. I would love to hear what you do as well. Let's, as I've always said, let's keep this community talking because when we learn from each other, that's really the best way to learn is from other warriors. But I'm going to cut this video off today. As I said, next week, it's going to be a bit of a different look. I'll see you next week. Everybody take care and bye for now. Have a fantastic, fantastic week.